and welcome to this edition of Salima Speaks. Well, I'm smiling now, but I'm a little bit upset because Jesus stood me up today, okay? And when Jesus stands you up, you know you're in trouble, okay? Um, anyway, I had a Jesus impersonator that's supposed to come on my show today, but he got stuck in traffic. Jesus got stuck in traffic. You couldn't say a Hail Mary or something, fly over the traffic. Anyway, still going to carry on. We have Mr. Orlando. Acosta yes, here, and a very interesting young man. How are you, Orlando? I'm very well. Good. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I have, um, I'm a parent and a community advocate here in the city of Philadelphia. Basically, you know, I advocate for children and better education for all students. Okay, you advocate <laughs> for children. And you also, you were doing something else? Well, back a couple years ago from 94 to 2000 i used to produce music you know I used to run my own record label your own record label yeah here wow. in the city. and we're going to talk about the pink elephant in the room you're all in a wheelchair yes. and uh, what is your disability cerebral palsy cerebral palsy okay and mm. tell me a little bit about that you know i i thought that i knew someone that that had cerebral palsy but she was severely uh, mentally handicapped. Right. So that doesn't go for everybody. I mean, your brain no. is fine. No, it it basically depends on on what level or or how severe your your disability is. Some people have my mild disability, such as myself, and other people have more se severe disability, meaning that they can't move their arms, their legs. They can only might move their neck. Okay. So, so, but you were you were born uh, like this, <clears> and <throat> you said that you um, you were born handicapped, and but you haven't always used a wheelchair. No, I use crutches, or I alternate between the wheelchair and and the crutches. Yeah, because I think I saw you downtown one time with um <clears throat> with crutches on. Yeah, right, with your crutches. right. But it doesn't affect your ability to think. No, no. Okay. No, I it. The umbilical cord, when I was younger or an infant, got wrapped around my throat, and this wow. this is how it created my disability. Really? Because it cut cut my oxygen off for for about thirty seconds. Once you lose like thirty thirty seconds or even longer of <coughs> of oxygen, then you'll either lose your arm. Mobile, mobility or your legs, okay. depending on. So now, do you um, have a caretaker? No, no. You do. You dress yourself. No, I'm married. Um, with. Oh, you three, are married. Three, wow. Married with three children. <laughs> Wait. No. I, you're married with children. Yes. Okay. See, now you want Salima speaks. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> All right. Well, speak. Okay. I mean, I mean, come All right, on. Well, I mean. So, well, so, speak. so, ask is, me the question. Is everything working on a man? Everything is working. <laughs> okay. I mean? So, no matter what. So, works. wait, so the children are your biological children? Yes, they are. Get out of here. No, seriously, they are. Okay, wait, are. so how long have you been married? I've been married going on eight years now. Going on eight, and your wife is well, happy? We, well, we've been, we knew each other for 20. Okay. But we've been married for about eight. And so you can do the do. You can do the function do. and do the do. get out of here. Do the do. <laughs> do, the do. Wow. I mean, you okay. know, I, I mean, I, I've danced and uh, years ago I used to dance, do like dan dancing in clubs, nightclubs. Dance? And, like like hip hop dance and no, literally got on my crutches and dance, danced, shot videos. Wow. Then, you know. You know, that's amazing to me because I know sometimes <coughs> I have a hard time pulling myself out of the bed in the morning. Right. And I'm fine, thank God. You know, wow. So so, so now how how about your children? Are your children fine? No, they're fine. They're fine. That it's not a hereditary okay. uh thing. Wow. All. Okay, so now, so you're, you're working with children, you're doing the advocacy thing. When you were doing produ pr production, what kind of things did you do? Uh, gospel, uh, R&B, rap. Wow. Um, okay. So your disability didn't stop you from doing what you wanted to do? No, because 
all you're doing is working the board um, at the studio. So it's not a whole bunch of move, move, moving around that okay. you have to do. Okay. <coughs> so, plus you have other people that work with you in the studio. So, okay. so it's not really that complicated. Wow, that's fantastic. And I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised at, at the fact, honestly, that you have children. I'm really, you know, blown away by that. Because, see, people would think that somebody with a disability, first of all, wouldn't get married. Second of all, wouldn't have children, you know. But you have all of that. I mean, that's so fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming on my show. And we're going to talk more. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. And I have another guest coming on here, a hair weave guy. Now, we all got to listen to this. Okay, be back. Peace. Welcome back to this edition of Salima Speaks. And as I told you, uh, we have this guy here, Mr. William E. Jackson. Hello there. Hello, Salima. How are you? I'm doing good and great. I feel I'm glad to be here today. And first time I met you, you were actually in uniform. Yes, that's correct. And because you're a, a SEPTA police officer. No, I'm a police officer, Amtrak. Amtrak, For Amtrak police. police officer. Okay, very good. And now you have a new venture. Tell me a little bit about that. That's correct. Um, I'm a distributor for the House of Beautiful Hair. Okay. Which is a new business that's out for, um, we sell weave online. And uh, what's happening here now, we're doing a company where you can buy your weave online and you can uh, order from my distributors. Okay, now you were, we were talking about that a little bit and the gist of it is that you can actually be a part of the company. Right. Yes. What's unique with this is most of the time we buy hair and we buy it and, you know, you bring people back. You don't really get no compensation or commission or nothing for and referrals. And we buy from people that don't like us, don't put any money in our community, okay, and we get nothing from it. And this is a multi-billion dollar industry, the hair weave industry. Yes. And we are the main ones that use hair weaves. Yes, you're very correct. And it's growing every day because, right. uh, number one, it is a large industry over millions and millions of dollars. Okay. And number two, a lot of money do not recycle back into our communities. Exactly. And that's what House of Beautiful Hair is here to do to change that. Because with House of Beautiful Hair, we have a slogan, make a million with our Brazilian. And <laughs> what that means okay. is, you know, you know, your family and friends, people see your hair and they look at you and they compliment you and you ask you where you get it from. Well, now what we want you to be able to do you can become a distributor yourself, Salima. You know, you sign up, and I'll talk to you later about that going on my webpage, which is my company. It's called We for Wealth, F-O-R, We for Wealth. And if you went on my webpage, you were able to sign up as a member, and as you become a member, you have the same opportunity I have to become a distributor. Okay, so that's We for F-O-R Wealth. That's correct. And somebody goes to that, they'll be able to see your website. That's very correct. Okay. And you have some of the hair here? Yes, I do. This and is Brazilian. This is the Brazilian. Oh no, I'm gonna have some of this Brazilian in my hair. And okay. I'm gonna help her make a million with that same Brazilian. With this Brazilian. Oh wow. It feels amazing. Very, very nice oh, texture. Wow, it feels good. And that's the Remy. Oh man, it's this is human hair. Yes. Okay, 
Wow, that's really and good. And that's a bundle about 12 inches long. It's a 12 inch bundle. Okay. And here's what this, you said that this, first of all, you could dye this. That's correct. Any color that you want it. Yes. Okay, because it is human hair. Yes. Um, and also, you were saying it lasts six months? Six months. You know, now, all right, even if you use like synthetic hair, if you buy a pack for like $25, $30, you're getting, you're replacing that every two to three weeks for it to look fresh. So you're telling me that this will last six months. Yes, I am. I'm already sold. Because you know how many, how many packs of that synthetic mess you're going to buy? And plus, I'm a swimmer. And I can actually swim in this. And you can have that wet and blow dry wow. it and curl it and bump it and do all the things. You I'm going to hand this in my hair next month, y'all. Watch it. Watch out for it. <laughs> For real, that's amazing. So this is the Brazilian, and you have another. another yes, this pie? here is the Peruvian. So let me ask you this honestly. So this comes from Brazil, and this this is actually from a Brazilian woman. Yes, that's Brazilian. This one is Peruvian. So it's if I put Peruvian. this on my butt grow, like the Brazilian butt lift, you know. <laughs> that's another. That's another thing <laughs> we're, working, thing. we're working on. Oh, okay, that. okay. So my butt ain't gonna grow for this on. All right. Well, at least I look good. So. <laughs> Okay, now this is Peruvian. Now, what's is there? It seems like it's about the same. Well, they're both oh, from South little, America. Okay, but it's really good hair. I like the way it feels. Okay, Peru. Now, look, could you mix the two? You think? Well, when you buy it, you're entitled to do whatever you like. I'm so gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know. But this hair feels really good. So you okay? So the average hair, me, will lose like three, probably three or four. Well, one but, thing um, that's nice about having a big head, sometimes a little bit more profit, but it makes it look <laughs> better. Yeah, you know what? But honestly, uh, seriously speaking, we uh, spend so much money. We make so many other people rich, and we don't get rich. We're just giving <clears> money, <throat> money, money to, to, like I said, the people that don't even like us, you know? Well... Let me just um, give you a little bit of history of the um, company. Okay. The company was started by three African-American men. Okay. They launched a uh, pre-launch down out of Atlanta, which is uh, it's really doing good. And great. It's doing great down there. They're really booming. And uh, what the ideal of it is, number one is, he came at the right time with a product that everybody wants and everybody understands and knows about weave. You can ask a seven-year-old kid, they know about weave. Exactly. I'm not going to weave in our head now. Number two, <laughs> everybody is familiar with shopping on the internet. Right. So those two ideals right there, uh, everyone understand. And as far as the amount of money, we're compatible, if not better than most sales, a place you'll buy it from. And the second thing, the third most interesting thing is, where else can you pay your bills with the weave you wear in your head? Okay. And what I mean by pay your bills, when you buy or purchase weave from this company, you can refer your friends. If you're willing to sign up and become a member and do a few other things in the company that you'll see when you go to the web page, Weave for Wealth, you'll see the opportunity there. It's also a business opportunity if you decide that you oh, want I'm to Oh, I'm in, babe. I'm in. I'm in, honestly, for real. It's, uh, it's such a good idea. It's such a good concept. And we need to start making more money. We need to start making money back from products that we use. And so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, are you originally from Philadelphia? Born and raised Philadelphia. Okay. Attended John Bartram High School, graduated from there. Okay. Went to Cheney. I did too, I didn't know that, okay. Yes, and uh, just a numerous other things I did. I done done a lot of network marketing during my time. Okay. I was a Philadelphia police officer for 15 years before I came to Amtrak Police. Really? Yes. What years? I came on 86 to 2001. Really? Yes. Now, you know, my dad was a police officer. He was one of the first African-American uh, police officers here in Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah. So, well, it's, it's trail markers, like trailblazers like that that made the way easier for us. Yeah, Musa Hakim, he was one of the first. Now, that must have been interesting. Very. You know, what? tell me a little bit about that. Well, police work has a multitask of things you do. You know, we go from social work to emergency response, lifesavers, and sometimes you have to be the punisher too, you know, so sometimes you gotta do some other things. So you know though, honestly, you guys do get a bad rep and you know that. And sometimes rightfully so, you know, um, but, but how do you feel like when you see, maybe you haven't seen it personally, 
But when you see these stories or hear these stories about police officers, like I was reading an article, I can't remember the article right now, but uh, someone brought it to me uh, last week, where this guy, a police officer, shot this guy in the back 10 times, killed him, and said it was self-defense, okay? The guy was about six feet or more away. So how is that self-defense? And of course the police officer got off. You know, when you hear stuff, of course, white police officer, black kid, when you hear stories like that, what, what is, how do you feel about that? Well, I can't speak on exactly what happened in that moment. Right. But just the idea, we have to understand everybody have different fear factors. Okay. So one man fear might not be the next person's. So at some time, some people can be in fear of a situation, not just by that person themselves, but their environment they're in. But shouldn't, aren't police officers trained? You well, know, to, to me, if you have a loaded weapon, you should be trained not to have the same fear that an average person would have. You should have a, a different level of fear because you've been trained and the, 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 like that 17 year old kid wasn't trained. Well, everyone is trained. It's just different type of training. Okay. Would you expect a police officer to have professional training? And, that, and that's but what I'm saying. also you have to remember everybody's human first, no matter what job you have, you're a human being. And you know, like I said, it's always one bad apple in every bunch. Well, you know, there's a whole bunch of police officers out there that are not, I mean, of course you're one of the good ones. I know a few good ones, but my cousin Ricardo is a police officer also. But, but and I know that, you know, uh, it's, a, it's like a brotherhood. But let me ask you this, honestly, if you did, you know, if you can't speak on it, I mean, I don't want to get you in trouble, but if you saw a fellow police officer doing something wrong, would you stand up to him and tell on him? Yes, I would. I be, well, the best thing would be is intervene before it get too bad. Okay. See, some people, if you, the sooner you speak up and do something, the better it off. That's why I'm here now to tell you about this hair. Okay. Because the sooner I get the word out with the hair, just like the see, sooner see, I get out to take see. action. Okay, I got it's you. It's about action. I got you. you know, it's about action. <laughs> I got you. you. I got action. you. I got so you. So what I'm saying okay. is, the sooner I get this hair out here. What he's saying is, get, get off this, the police. I got a job. <laughs> You're messing with my money. Okay. And let everybody see how beautiful this Brazilian is. I got you. Because I'm just want to make a million selling this Brazilian. See, I should have warned you when Salima speaks, all right? It's okay. Speak, speak, speak. That's why I'm here to hear you speak. Okay. But I want to speak with you there. All right. And that's, you know, a very subject. Well, you have to invite me back another time okay. and we'll get more in detail. Oh, we will. We will. And I know Definitely. that clock is ticking. Because I, I got, I got some, some questions for you, you know, as far as, as not only the hair part, but the, but the police part, you know, but I didn't want to put you on, on, you know, on the stand because we didn't really, you know, talk, come to talk about the police stuff, but my mind just went there, but you know, see, it goes there sometimes. You know? But that's what I'm saying about train. You're trained, but see, sometimes passion and just our human nature takes over. Just but like see, my you, passion ain't shooting nobody in the back though. No, no, but 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 it just depends on what level you are. I mean your passion can make me hungry next week if they fire me. And you can bite me. But <laughs> But I wouldn't bite you. But, <laughs> but, but you know, it's just, it's you just, know it's but I ain't, I ain't shooting you in the back. I ain't killing nobody. But that's you know? that's 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 yeah, when you have a, a gun, when you have a gun, your level cannot be on the same level as mine, because I ain't got no gun. You know, when you're talking about 17-year-old kids, 16-year-old kids who are not grown, who have not reached a certain level, and you're, you're, you're saying that, you know, I'm afraid of this person and I'm going to shoot and kill him, shoot him in the back and kill him. I mean, come on. It, 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 you don't need to be doing that job well, if you have that much fear. And we're, we're not, I'm not going to put you on the spot. I'm, I'm really and, not. And, and you I'm, I'm going to help you out to close it okay. off real quick. Always remember <laughs> this, too. And I'm not trying to take up for either side the child or the police officer, if that's what you want to call me, child. Mm -hmm. But this day and age, some children are 10 and 15 years old and acting like adults. And you know, they say sometimes you want to wear the big pants, you have to take the responsibility that comes along with it. So if the child's out there acting like a man, you get treated like a man. But I'm not speaking on that situation because I don't okay. know exactly, exactly the situation you're talking exactly. about. I don't know what happened. I don't know none of the details. I'm just I know, you know, I know. speaking. I am going to get some of the details. I'm going to talk to you about that off the air. But now, speaking of pants, what are your views on these guys walking around with their pants hanging down? Well, truthfully, I wouldn't have a problem with it if they was going to my website, <laughs> Read for Wealth, and buying hair for their girlfriends. Okay. Because, you know, everybody had their own personal opinion. I think it's, I don't agree with it. I'm glad my children don't do it, and um, I've been fortunate in that. But, How many know, children do you have? I have four children. Okay, boys, two girls. Two sons, two daughters. Okay, and what are they doing? 
uh, numerous things right now. It's like my son, he's a, a boiler maker. He travels a lot. The older son, my youngest son, he does a little bit in and out uh, with the construction business. And he had, we had a little landscaping business he was working with. Okay. And my daughter is into the medical field. And my other daughter is into uh, like the collection and customer service field. So they're all doing positive things. As of now, yes. I'm Very good. That. Very good. So uh, now as far as your, your children are concerned, um, would you have any qualms about any of them joining the police force? No, I would really love for them to have joined the police force. Really? Then I'm um, uh, choose to. They went different you know, routes. Okay. They did go different routes. But you wouldn't have mind if they were on the force? No, I think, well, we got to serve our people, you know, the service. You know, first, the best thing about, you know, just anybody, you have to be able some time to serve before you can lead. Right. Just like you have to follow to be a leader. Okay. And, you know, I'm following a great guy that really turned me on to this, <laughs> my buddy Derek Williams. He's a good friend of mine. He's another police officer, the guy that introduced me oh, to really? this business. Okay. He's a sergeant still at the Philadelphia Police Department. And, um, you know, we'd done a lot of other network sales together before. And when he came across this um, idea, this uh, new product here, he called me up. And, you know, when he told me, it didn't take long for me to get it because... Well, you know, honestly, it didn't take too long for me to get it either. And the reason I said that is when he first told me about the hair, I was listening. And I always had an idea because, you know, I, I've been looking at this weave business since Chris Rock movie came out, Good Hair. Right. And then when he really went out and told me how much the investment was to get started, that really just was a no-brainer. It was no more... We, it was nothing else for me to say. So, um, tell me a little bit more about this this franchise. I'm really interested. I'm, I'm loving this hair. Well, the franchise is very simple. The first, just to get started, you go to the web page, We for Wealth. <clears throat> After you're on the web page, some minor, just real basic instructions how to sign up and become a member. And once you become a member, that gives you the ability to shop online on our web page for our, um, member prices, what we give for the, you know, the people that's a member. It's a closed shop, so people just can't come on and just look around. So you have okay. to become a member first, which is free, just to join. And after that, you can read just some of the other things about upgrading or just getting more into the business. They have a full um, question and answers, frequent asked questions and things like that on the page. They have some little videos just to talk more about how to get yourself into the business and, you know, little marketing classes. It's a lot of um, classes and help and mentoring done in the business. And it's very family oriented because, you know, like everything, you share with your family and your right. friends first before you try to reach out. And the best part about that is when you share with your family and your friends, you're bringing those dollars that usually leave our community back into our community right. and back into our homes. Now, let me ask you now, this is um, Brazilian, Peruvian, but it's, it's kind of straight. Now, do you have wet and wavy or? Yes. Now, in Brazilian come in that? four different um, styles. You have the straight. You have a loose curl, a full curl, and a heavy deep curl. Okay, I think I like the loose curl. And the um, Peruvian come in three different. Okay, and you said that like it does, it only comes in like these darker colors, but you can streak it yourself, so it doesn't come in the other colors. We don't color anything like that. Okay. We sell it. This is one B. Okay. And you buy the one B, just like your natural hair. You're born with sometimes, unless you're fortunate, some people have all the different colors. <laughs> okay. But you have that color there, you and then you it. take it to that color there you want. Really? You make it lighter, darker. Yeah, I'm. I'm really liking this. Um, this hair definitely. I'm gonna definitely get some of this. I mean, the texture is is really good. And now, see, the bundle doesn't look that big, so you probably need about three. But as we were saying before, that you. For the price, you can't beat that, and it lasts up to six months. I've never heard of that before. I'm going to put you to the test, though, because I'm going to use that. this. And let me tell you something about Salima. If it's crap, I'm telling everybody. I'm so serious. You know, I'm going to get some of this. I'm going to swim in it. I'm going to dye it. I'm going to look fry it, it and lay it, it to the side. side. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to let my man put his hands off hey. through it. Okay, let him pull on a little bit, not too hard. And... Uh, if this is crap, I'm telling everybody. But, you know, I do know hair. And feeling this hair right now, this is some good hair. I'm serious. It's really, really good hair. And everybody that knows me knows if it was, I wouldn't be saying that. So I, I'm going to get some and I'm going to try it out. Um, another thing about you, I just found out your birthday is June the 7th. Gemini. My dad's birthday and my best girlfriend's birthday is June the 7th. Well, I see me and your father had two things in common. 
Yeah, yeah, you were you're a police officer and born the same day. That's that's yeah. We have to talk. That's that's, that's great. Crazy. Yeah, Gemini. But um, yeah, and, and Gemini's. I'm like you guys. You either love you or you hate you. Wow. There's no in betweens with Gemini's. I got a daughter that's Gemini. My dad was Gemini. My grandson's a Gemini. My ex boyfriend's a Gemini. You either love Gemini or so you. Right now, I like you. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, you have to pick either or a good guy yeah. or a bad guy. Depending yeah. on what day and what time of the day it is. <laughs> well, you know, every time I said, because like, like I said, I met you um, when you were doing your, your police work and everything, and you were you were talking to some, I think some young kids, and and what stood out is the way you talk to them. You know, they were like kind of rowdy and, and acting kind of stupid. And you were like, come on, man, you know, talking to them like they were human, you know? Well, and I think they appreciated that. Yeah, I think a lot of people sometimes, it's just your whole approach. Just like with your personal life, your business, you know, the person you are is sometimes exposed in whatever you do. Right. It just, you know, can make a big difference. Right. And I, I think that, that that made a difference. That's why, you know, I, I kind of said something because I really appreciated the way you talk to those those young kids. So that was that was really good, and and it seems like you do a lot of stuff, huh? You're you're a very busy man. I try to keep myself busy, keep out of trouble. Okay, is it working? Yeah, so far. Okay, good for you. <laughs> and again, <laughs> I just like to share from We for Wealth. That's F O R, and uh, my number is three zero two two seven five six nine three eight. Okay. So you can feel free to call me. I either go to the website, and uh, you want to learn more about this business or this opportunity, or just to purchase some hair. Just go okay. to the web page. It's right there. Everything is right in front of you. You just have to, if you go to the web page, you have to register to become a member first. You have to be a member. And don't y'all be trying to call him because y'all trying to get your little freak when he talking about the hair, all right? Be calling for the, for the hair. Don't be, you know, you get your number out. Yes, and you don't look too bad now. You, you know, nice six, looking guy. Nine, yeah. Now about the hair. All right, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is really great. I, I really uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Honestly, um, I, I think that this is a wonderful product, and I, I really hope that more people realize um, that we need, to, we need to get into this business. If we don't get into anything else, we need to get into this business. Let me ask you real quick, personally, how do you feel about a woman wearing a wig, a, a weave in? Well, Ooh. number one, I think whatever woman needs to enhance her beauty, she should use. Good. Okay. You know, because y'all are visual. Men are visual. If it's natural, you know, as long as it look good, it's real. That's the most important thing. Okay. Presentation means a lot. Great. Well, I thank you so much for coming on my show. And I thank you for having me here. <laughs> and thank you for seeing this edition of Slima Speaks. Love yourself, love others, and don't forget to stretch. Bye. Okay. Now.